it's nine o'clock and it's Sunday morning and I thought I better do a video because I haven't spoken to you guys in quite a while so I thought I'd do a little vlog oh here comes a yawn do you know last night after you know the heat wave and everything like that last night I felt really cold and I had a hot water bottle <laughs> can you believe that I know it's a bit crazy just felt I hope I'm not coming down with anything but I just felt a bit shivery and cold so I had a water bottle and I slept like a log so I'm really not up to much today um but I thought whatever I do get up to I would film it and we can talk to each other I might be um, picking Mr Martin up from the airport this afternoon might don't know yet whether he's just going to get a train from the airport or whether he wants me to drive him home uh, he's going to let me know so you might see Mr Martin he's in Helsinki or has been in Helsinki so we shall see I'm on Weight Watchers <laughs> and I know some of you are going to go you don't need to lose any weight but I do actually I've, I've put on a lot of weight when I was off sick and um, I was 11 stone uh, which I wasn't very happy with so um, I'm on my second week Weight Watchers and today is weigh-in day I'm really scared last week I lost two and a half pounds don't know about this week let's see let's see let's go away I've just weighed myself and I have lost five pounds this week so I'm thrilled oh all my hard work is paying off so in total since starting started on the 12th of July I've lost seven and a half pounds so I'm really really pleased so it's lots of motivation to keep going. I did swim 50 lengths this week and I've done a lot of walking as well. Um, that's it. I haven't done any classes. I'm doing yoga every single day. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy with that. So breakfast time. Okie dokie. This morning breakfast is going to be uh, what I've had for the last two days because it's super yummy, uh, banana pancakes. So I'm gonna whack them together and fry them and eat them because they're very nice. I shall put a picture in here uh, to show you what they were like because I haven't got any raspberries and I did have raspberries with them, um, but they're so nice. So um, yeah, gonna get cooking because I'm hungry and I wanna celebrate my five pounds loss, yay! Once flipped, they don't take long on the other side. It's very difficult with one hand. Here we are. Here's the finished pancakes, and I've added an extra banana on top. Now I'm going to add my eight grams of golden syrup maple flavour because, you know, pancakes, not the same without the syrup. There's also the zero fat Greek yogurt on there, just a little bit. So this entire breakfast is three Weight Watchers points. I think that's pretty good, don't you? Pretty good. Yum, yum, yum. Bit of a better view of it. Can't wait. Yum, yum, yum. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I'm just going to shove an entire pancake in. Why not? Mm. If you like bananas, you'll like these pancakes. It's so nice. And so what else have I been doing for breakfast? Um, I've been buying those bagel thins. Um, like Warburton's do them and that other bagel company, New York Bagel things. They do these ba bagel thins that are slightly thinner than normal bagels. 
And if I toast one of those and have like 10 grams of peanut butter on top and then either put sliced banana on top or, you know, some raspberries or strawberries or something, then that's a really delicious breakfast as well. On Weight Watchers, there's lots of free points. So all fruits, most vegetables are all free points. Potatoes aren't and there's some other ones that avocados have got points in. But most fruit and vegetables are all zero points. Chicken breast, turkey breast, zero points. All fish, apart from smoked fish, zero points. Zero percent fat Greek yogurt, zero points. Sa you know, all salad and stuff. So there's loads of zero points that you can bulk out, you know, all of your food with. So I'm actually really enjoying the um, the challenge of finding new ways to put things together, put food together. Yesterday I had a delicious chicken sandwich. Um, in some flatbread. I'll put a little picture in. Um, I've, I've eaten loads of salad and but everything's been delicious you know it's been really good and I've realised that I've been overeating like I've been having like huge portions you know my Simply Cook I would have eaten the entire box the entire meal of Simply Cook and it's for two people but I would sort of be going back during the evening and picking and picking and then thinking oh sorry I might as well just eat the whole lot. So by the end of the evening, I've eaten the entire thing for two people, plus pudding, then maybe plus some biscuits late at night, you know, dunking into a herbal tea. So bad habits, I've got into bad habits. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my brekkie now, so, hmm, sorry. I'm going to go and enjoy my breakfast now and I'll speak to you afterwards. So I uh, had my breakfast, watched uh, some rubbish on YouTube and was going to get on with the day. But then this happened. I mean, how can you move? You can't. So I have got the cat off my lap so that I can get on with my day. Right, animals, they just stop you from doing things, for me anyway. Need to put a bit of makeup on and then a bit of washing. I need to go for a little walk, have some lunch and then go pick up Mr. Martin from the airport. I've got a big spot on my neck come out. This is where I get my spots mainly, on my neck. And then like the odd one here, but mainly on my neck. It's just horrible, like behind my ears. Too much information? Yeah. I just feel I can share stuff with you, you know? I can share it with you. Any idea how to get, a, get rid of neck spots? Let me know. I think it's hormonal. Sorry about the fan. I have just bathed, so I'm all clean. Hence the run. So I'm gonna stick on a little slap. Can anybody else do this? Is this the way you're meant to do it? I don't know. Dabby dabby. Dabby dabby. Bit of concealer. Slappy slappy. Anybody else find doing makeup intensely gory? <laughs> I do. It's a faff. It's just a faff. This is going to be too much information. It tends to be about a week before I get my period, I get the spots. However, as you all know, I'm 44 and my periods have become very um, sporadic, is the word. Uh, so I missed one for two months, then I had one, and this month I've just missed it. 
Okay, so all I can think is pre-menopausal. <laughs> so that's great, isn't it? Fabulous. It's a life-changing moment, actually, because you then realise that even if you wanted children, you couldn't have them. I've never wanted them. However, now that I probably can't, it does make you have a tinge of possible regret. Um, and it's also scary because it's like your body winding down, which is scary. So I don't know, anybody got any advice about that? stuff you know because it's a bit scary that a bit scary aunt sally anybody remember myrtle gummidge aunt sally aunt sally but it blends in thank god right you're probably bored now, so uh, I'll see you when I cook my lunch. All right. I am just using my swanky toaster to make a poached egg. And I'm also heating up some sausages that I ate yesterday. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this turns out. It's a tea fowl toast and egg, and it makes really, really good poached eggs. Hopefully. I haven't used it probably for over a year, so we'll see. Couldn't quite remember. I seem to have lost the measuring jug for the water and steam, but um, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, not finished yet. Intriguing. Oh, I think that's done. Let's pop that here. So, one of these on Weight Watches is two points. Some of this, uh, eight grams of this is one point. These sausages are zero points. No, they're not, sorry, I'm lying. Two points for two sausages. Two points for two sausages, they're chicken. Sausages. Ha! Huh. Okay, and then we're gonna try and get that onto there, might need two hands for this, like so, looks like it's just about still running, then I'm going to put some spring onions on the top and some cucumber on the side and maybe some, some salad and that is my lunch. Yum. Yes. Check that out. Check that out. Okay, got rid of the cat. I'm all ready. I've had some lunch, as you've seen, which was delish. I've decided to go out for half an hour walk. I need to do just some walking because um, I've just sat around all day doing nothing, which is very bad. So I need a half an hour walk, then I need to come back. I'm going to make some coffees to take with me while I collect Martin because I think probably once he's been through the airport, he'll be dying for a coffee. So I'm going to put a coffee in my um, metal uh, thermos for him. Yeah, let's go. So I'm going to listen to my audible book as I walk and just take 30 minutes fresh air.
Oh my gosh, I'm just back. So I managed to do 1.7 miles, which is okay. You know, a bit of uh, exercise, but walking, but I'm sweating. Sweating. Uh, I didn't really think of that. And now I've got the kettle on to make the coffee. And then I'm going to go pick up Mr. Martin. And he's due to land in five minutes. <laughs> so I need to get a wriggle on. Morning. Bit of a fail yesterday. I'm sorry. I did go and collect Mr. Martin from the airport, but it was so stressful that <sighs> vlogging was just not going to happen. The traffic yesterday was just horrendous. Bit of a nightmare. I was stressed. He was stressed. So I'm really sorry, but I just didn't. I didn't vlog because it was just you know crazy. So it's Monday morning. It's Monday morning. It's a beautiful blue sky out there. Amazing. I've got my brekkie. Today I'm having a um, thin bagel. I've already eaten one of them, by the way. A thin bagel with a scraping of peanut butter and a nana and a coffee. And uh, at half past nine, it is currently 8.30 in the morning. Uh, at half past nine, I'm going off to do aqua jog. Have you ever done aqua jog? I did it last week. It's hilarious. You strap like a float around your waist and you do all of these exercises in the deep water, which is just great fun. And then they give you these floaty weights that you're pushing down in the water and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, it's really good fun. So I'm doing that this morning. Um, then later I've got to go to the doctors to talk about my asthma. And in between then, I'm not really sure. I've got to go and do a bit of shopping. So I'll take you with me. It's a beautiful day. Oh dear, I haven't got my singing voice this morning. No. Right, I've got a new little holdery what's it do thing. And it rattles like a crazy thing. So I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to you during I'm driving because it's going to be like this. Well, we give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's get some air in here. It's boiling. What's it say? It says it's 20 degrees. It feels warmer than that. Time check 28 minutes past nine. I'm heading off because it's aqua jog, so I've got to get ready. Although I have got my swimming costume on already because I'm very organised jog done uh wasn't as good as last week there was a sub teacher and she wasn't very good <laughs> but i just kind of you know you just get on with it don't you and kind of make a few bits up and uh, crack on and i think moving a little bit is better than not moving at all so and i still feel like i've worked but just not just didn't wasn't as much fun as last week never mind right sorry i was rudely interrupted by somebody <laughs> getting in their car and I was like eh, talking to my phone right anyway um, I'm in a little town now and I'm just here because I need to find a something for Martin's birthday present can't say in case he watches this he won't but just in case so let's go oh and no makeup but you know who cares
I'm home. Yay! Uh, washing machine's just spinning. You wanted to know that, didn't you? And um, oh, I'm starving, so I'm, I've got to have some lunch. I think I'm having soup. I need to scan it with the old Weight Watchers thing. Soup and a crisp roll. Starving, starving, so I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to sort out Mr. Martin's birthday presents and maybe wrap them. And then I've got a doctor's appointment about my suspected asthma. So, it's all good. Hello! So, I've been to the doctor, I've seen the asthma nurse, and she's explained a lot to me, so that's fine. We also need to get onto the asthma website, UK website, and read up a little bit about it, I think. market again pick up some bits for tomorrow and that's it then home eat bed good evening I have eaten my dinner I've done several loads of washing some of which is not dry and I am just about to do my yoga and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm really sorry if this was a bit dull today and yesterday. Hopefully I'll go somewhere interesting soon and be able to take you with me and show you a few bits. Uh, but at the moment things are quiet, things are quiet. Hopefully I'll get my sully box soon. I've also got an Emma Bridgewater sail haul coming most of which is for presents and i think that's it so until then thank you very much for watching and speak soon <laughs>